Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Bay Street Capital Holdings podcast titled How Do You Do It and Why Should I Care? This series aims to highlight women doing amazing work in various industries. So today we are so lucky to be joined by Asia Reed, who is Senior HR Professional. Hi Asia, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So let's start off with a quick introduction, I guess, and also the question of the day, which is how do you do it and why should I care? Okay. So my name is Asia Reed. I've been in HR for about 15 years now. I currently work for Teach for America as a Managing Director of Employee Relations, where I triage all types of interesting HR-related matters. Um, And why did I do it? Because I love people. And why did you care? Because I think that the people side of business is the most impactful asset of every organization. If you don't have people, you don't have an organization. That is so true. And following on from that, I guess, was there any one point in your life which really inspired you to join the HR industry? Yeah, I would say when I was in high school, we had a business wing of high school is where you could take business classes. And so um, that started my interest there. And then in college, I took a class called Organizational Behavior. It's talking about how people in organizations behave and how they their, their thought processes. And I was like, wow, I love the people side of business. So this is what I want to do with my career. So that is what gave me my uh, my touch into HR as a field and as a profession. That is awesome. So what were your best resources, I guess, that helped you along the way? I know you mentioned some of it earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say my network. Uh, I would also say my ingenuity because HR has a field that you don't just go into directly. You kind of have to do your own uh, stretch uh, jobs, if you will, in, in other roles. So I kind of sought out ways on my own to kind of go into HR as a business management major. That's awesome. So um, you probably learned a lot from your network. They probably told you a lot about the HR industry. But was mm-hmm. there anything that sort of slipped through the cracks? Any lesson, uh, lessons that you wish you would have known before starting in the HR industry? Uh, Definitely. I would say um, titles matter. Um, What I mean by that is you want to make sure that you're you're increasing on roles as you go up the ladder. Right. So you don't want to try to take a step back. And so it is important for you to negotiate the correct title when you're approaching new opportunities in HR. So definitely, I would say titles do matter. Mm, that's very important actually I didn't even realize how important titles were within the <laughs> industry. but following on from that thinking about the span of your career what would you say was your biggest failure and what did you learn from it so my career I think my biggest failure was probably approaching HR from HR and not actually knowing the company that I work for their policies and the people and the culture so mm-hmm. you know in my mind I'm thinking I'm the HR person so I do the hiring but you know, you have to do it in a way that matches um, the company that, that you that you employ by. So mm-hmm. I think my biggest failure was probably not learning about the actual business process first before jumping into HR processes. Mm, that's a very important lesson, and I'm glad that you learned that. Um, so what would you say as a piece of advice for somebody who was wanting to join the HR industry? Huh. I would say join um, organizations. Um, I would also say get certifications in it. Um, and I would also say if you don't have an HR role currently per se, try to find things to add on to your current role that are HR related. Like let's say if you are, I don't know, an accountant, see if you can sit in on some, on some job interviews for potential people joining your team to get that, that skill set of interviewing if you want to be a recruiter someday. So I would say take non-traditional routes if you really want to get an HR as a field, um, it, it, that's your ultimate goal look on for different ways to add that to your your um to your arsenal of skills if you will yeah and then what would you say is one common myth that many people have about the hr industry that anybody can do it <laughs> <laughs> uh that you know it, it can be a fallback people don't understand that hr is not just one thing hr is recruiting you have um benefits you have payroll you have training there are so many different areas of hr that you can't just walk into and it's like, think you can do a job because you like people. So I would say the myth is that anybody can do HR. Mm. So you're probably obviously very busy with your full-time job, but I was just wondering, is there anything that you've read or listened to recently that's really inspired you? Yeah, um, I have podcasts, but I think a book that I read recently was called The Power of Subdiscipline, No Excuses. Um, it just kind of, because right now in a virtual environment, you can kind of get, um, what's the word, mundane in your task mm-hmm. and you get lazy. 
So that book kind of gave me a kick, if you will, that I needed to get back on task and to be more disciplined and focus on my work. Mm, I feel like I should read that book too. I think it's very easy. <laughs> I think everybody's got held up in the Zoom fatigue. <laughs> Absolutely. So following on from that, who are three people in your life who have influenced you the most? So I would say my maternal grandmother because she was very, very hardworking and she always found um, ways to make it through things. So um, when she, my grandfather passed away when, um, and she had to raise five kids on her own. So I, I, I just saw her, her strength and her fortitude and seeing how she raised five wonderful children really, really inspired me. Um, I would also say my business teacher in um, high school, Mrs. Uday, um, before I went to um, high school, a little fun fact, I wanted to be a, a band director. I wanted to major in music. But um, when I got to that business wing and, I, and she developed me, she poured into me and she mentored me. So I would say Mrs. Uday. And third, hmm, I would say my children. Um, I have them actually here on my, on my necklace from Mother's Day gift. There's Teddy, Aria, and Jerome. Um, my children really, really inspire me to be great and they push me as well to be a great mom and a, and a great person so that's so lovely and then finally to wrap up our conversation throughout the span of your life is there any advice that you wish you gave yourself yes i would say life is not a race but it is a marathon you know you don't have to be the first one there to finish it you need to get there when you're actually ready to arrive at that point because if you rush it you will miss opportunities along the way to grow and to, and to develop and to stretch. So I would say, slow down, enjoy the, the, the journey, not not getting there, you know, the end point, but the actual journey to get there. That's amazing. And a lovely piece of advice to finish on. So thank you so much, Asia, for your time. I really enjoyed speaking with you. Thank you, same here. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.